In an isolated mountain valley on the border of Pakistan and Afghanistan lies a legacy in squash like no other, the Khan Dynasty. The Khans are the descendants of not only the warriors of the Mughals, but also the Greeks, the Persians, the Huns, and the Mongols. But the Kongs chose not to master the sword. Instead, they chose to wield the racket. In ancient times and to this modern day, the land known today as Pakistan has been occupied by many forces. The Greeks, the Mongols, the Persians, and many others each added these lands to their vast empires. These areas were conquered by the great armies of Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, and many, many others. These armies have something in common, though. They all have to overcome the impossible. Separating Pakistan from their armies is the Hindu Kush an offshoot of the Himalayas that was formed when the Indian subcontinent collided with Asia some 50 million years ago. Due to this cataclysmic event, the Hindu Kush reached heights of 7,690 meters or 25,230 feet. This left armies only one place to cross, the Khyber Pass, but these armies did not know what was waiting for them. Apart from the 1,070 meter elevation and the rugged landscape, the Khyber Pass contained a more down-to-earth threat, the ancestors of the Khans. Today a famous dynasty of squash players, but back then a warrior tribe known as the Suanian who resided in the Mantum Pass. When the Greeks conquered the pass, they saw it as a very valuable trade route, and because of that they left behind settlers. These settlers had children with the tribal people of the past. These children were known as the Pathans. Their children had all the strength of the Greeks and the Suanian, but it didn't stop there. Every empire that conquered the area, the Mongols, the Persians, the Mughals, the Huns, all left behind settlers to guard the valuable Khyber Pass. And like the Greeks, they all had children with the indigenous people. In 1858, the empiric British asserted their dominance over the Indian subcontinent with the formation of the British Raj. The British conquered everything up until the Hindu Kush and the Khyber Pass and brought their practices with them. Thirty years prior, the game of squash was invented in their homeland and it quickly became popular among British officers, including those defending the border at the Khyber Pass. These officers began to play the sport of squash as it spread across the empire. However, the British were not the only ones to play the sport.
When the British brought squash to the Khyber Pass, a notable elder joined them in the sport, Abdul Majid Khan. Abdul was very well known and respected among the Pathans and was also respected by the British officers. Due to this, Abdul was invited to play squash with the officers and eventually became so good at the sport that he became the club pro. This meant a lot to Abdul because it meant he could finally leave his life of cattle herding, which the Khans had been doing for centuries. What he did not know at the time was that he was about to build a dynasty, the likes of which have not been seen not only in squash but in any other sport to this day. Hasim Khan is known today as the most influential squash player of all time, but he had very humble beginnings. He was born on July the 1st, 1914 in Peshawar, and now a large city near the Khyber Pass. He first played squash at the age of 8, but at age 11, his father Abdullah was killed in a car accident. Due to that, he had to find a job, so he became a ball boy at a local squash court for a wage of five cents a day. In 1950, Hasim heard that India was sponsoring players for the British Open, including his distant cousin and rival, Abdul Bari. In response, Hashim seeks sponsorship from the Pakistani government. In 1951, Hashim played in the British Open. It became the first time a Pakistani player had won the British Open and the first time Hashim had worn shoes in a squash match. Since then, he went on to win six more British Open titles, five British Professional Championship titles, three Canadian Open titles, and three US Open titles, for a total of 18 professional titles. Hashim didn't stop there though. He established squash as a national sport of Pakistan, and along with his three brothers, published their dynasty to squash, and squash to the world. Hashim died on August 18th, 2014, shortly after his 100th birthday due to congestive heart failure. Azam Khan was born between 1914 and 1925 in Peshawar, Pakistan. In his early 20s, he became a tennis coach to British officers during the British Raj. At age 26, his older brother Hashim convinced him to switch to squash. He progressed very quickly and in 1954 he became the runner-up in the British Open, losing to no one else but his brother Hashim. In 1959, he won his first British Open starting a four-year winning streak it would last until 1962 when he ruptured his Achilles tendon and ended his professional career. To this day, he runs the new Grampian Squash Club in England. Many believe that he was the best squash player to ever take the court. Roshan Khan was born on the 26th of November 1929 in Peshawar, Pakistan. Like his nephews, Hashim and Azam, he became a world-renowned squash player, winning the British Open, the Canadian Open twice, and the US Open three times. While all of the Khans represent Pakistan in international competition, he was the only Khan of the four to remain in Pakistan. He died on the 6th of January 2006. Roshan is known to have been the best touch player squash has ever seen as he was a master of very difficult shots known to crush the morale of the opponents. Mohi Bala Khan was born in Peshawar, Pakistan in 1938 as the nephew of Roshan, Azam, and Hashim. While he won the British Open in 1963 after fighting through nine straight match points, his main skill was the North American hardball version of squash. This offshoot features a ball made of solid vulcanized rubber compared to its hollow counterpart. 
After teaching the sport at Harvard, he fell in love with it and won the North American Championship five times. Mohibala died in 1994 at the age of 56. He is sometimes referred to as the fastest con ever. Torsam Khan was born in 1952 as the eldest son of Roshan Khan. Trained by his father Roshan Khan, he secured the ranking of 13th in the world before he died in 1979 at the age of 27 after having a heart attack in the middle of an Australian tournament. Jahangir Khan was born on the 10th of December 1963 in Karachi, Pakistan as the son of Roshan Khan and the brother of Torsam Khan. When he was born, he had a hernia problem and had to undergo two hernia operations. His doctors forbade him from playing squash, but at the age of 10, he began playing the sport. When Torsam died, Jahangir considered quitting the sport, but he continued to play as a tribute to his brother. At age 17, Jahangir won the world open against Australian squash legend Geoff Hunt. He is, to this day, the youngest person ever to win the world open. After a loss to Hunt in the British Open, Jahangir went undefeated for more than five years between 1981 and 1986, winning a total of 555 straight matches. He has won a total of six World Opens, and between the years of 1982 and 1991, he won 10 consecutive British Opens. He retired from play in 1993, but he continues to be involved in the sport. In 1990, he was appointed chair of the Professional Squash Association and has since been vice president of the Pakistani Squash Federation and president of the World Squash Federation. He has been dubbed by many as the greatest squash player of all time.